So I can see. Let me just. Uh, so here is your mockup template products hundred PST. Let me open that. Okay. So as I can see. Okay. Let me just switch off. Uh, those are marks. Okay. So uh, what we need to do is we need to create a mockup template. Uh, uh, these are PSD files, but the uh, these are not mockup templates. So using this uh, file, we can create a couple of mockup template, and I'll show you how you can do that. And you have to use that PSD file. Unfortunately, this one is not uh, what we expect. So for mockup template, what we need to do? Just I have to attend this call. Just give me a moment. I'll pause and I'll resume the video from here. So. Now what a mockup template to be used with bulk mockup looks like is you know uh, let me just uh, let us deal with the hoodie so we have around one two three four five six seven eight uh, eight uh, hoodies so what we'll do we'll duplicate this into a new file okay duplicate this into a new file uh, one more thing uh, that I would like to point out uh, this accented characters you know uh, if I could read this out it's a uh, pulse P U L C S I K that's an a notion above E uh, these are some of the you know accented characters and Photoshop uh, at times you know have difficulty handling this kind of uh, files so I think we need to go ahead and you know rename that and remove the ascents so I'll be only doing this uh, hoodie uh, rest you can follow my lead and uh, do for the other uh, products Okay, so we have everything. Uh, we can close this down perhaps. Uh, no required now. So we'll switch on this. We'll have a solid color on the bottom layer. Uh, so, what are an ideal mock up template for bulk mock up would look like? You know, uh, we have a background. Uh, this is a smart object layer. We will rasterize this. Okay, and we need a smart object layer. So, what we'll do, I'll take up your design, any of them and just place it over here and resize it at whatever place we think is best okay now uh, this is an ideal mock-up template uh, what I mean by ideal is you know there should be one t-shirt layer and the top of the t-shirt layer uh, there should be a smart object design layer uh, it is very important that the design is in smart object uh, so that we can you know right click and replace content if we select a different design uh, let me check uh, this is your file uh, if you select any other design it will automatically be replaced by bulk mockup as you can see okay uh, the size is not perfect I'll come to the size later on but first we need to create the uh, you know uh, mockup template so this is the first mockup template that we created we have our background layer and above that we have a smart object design layer we'll copy this and save this as a PSD file and uh, like I mentioned uh, this annotated E we need to remove that because Photoshop might have uh, some issue uh, while reading that file now this one is complete we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the others or perhaps what we can do uh, we can just duplicate this so that we don't have to drag and you know uh, 
what I mean is you know uh, this is the white um, hoodie so if you bring in this uh, mock-up template and then uh, go ahead and resize uh, so the size of this one and this may vary so what we'll do we'll just duplicate this on the different layers maybe I'm like 18th it's there in the correct position we, if you want we can switch it or change it as we wish uh, we don't want to have two smart objects so we'll rasterize this okay uh, we'll change this solid color we'll have this background perfect we'll save this file we'll first let me copy this name save this file full ski we have to remove the an ocean then duplicate this Let's try this. This may uh, not look correct, or I think uh, we may shift it this way. I'm not sure. Maybe you can uh, fix that by your own. So I'm not sure which language is this. Perhaps uh, I mean I would love to learn new languages. I always try to spend. Uh, I think this is something related to the color, I believe, or rosazin, meaning pink in general. And that is what I can make out. Okay, I'll duplicate this one. this is a uh, fecate I mean uh, this would mean uh, black I believe so like uh, whenever I get a chance I try to learn uh, new languages or uh, how we call colors and other stuffs in different languages Okay, we if you want to duplicate this, no problem. We'll open that again. Uh, duplicate layer, sorry. Sarga means yellow, I guess. And that uh, na naming convention, I'm removing the ascended uh, characters. We need to do that for the design file as well. So go ahead and do that, or else uh, we may face some issue while we run the uh, bulk mockup. Okay, so I think uh, we are done. So we created nine, other uh, eight, there must be nine, I guess. Let me check. So we have nine mockup templates, likewise, you need to break down the other files. Okay, so we had one. Uh, now we can call this 
uh, mockup templates so we'll put all this eight of them into the new folder mockup now coming back to the design that uh, we resized and the size was quite big uh, it is uh, good if you're you know let me check what why did that happen if I double click and open uh, look at the size 2048 2048 72 ppi and let me look at the size of the other designs that I used uh, this one and this one so So this design is 2000-2096 ppi, uh, this one is 300 ppi and that was the reason uh, the size changed. So it is better if all your design files are of consistent resolution and a consistent size, uh, it would help uh, you to process faster. If not, your design files are not consistent, uh, you can go ahead and use, you know, let me show you the mockup. Uh, 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 design resize feature is there uh, it will be available somewhere you know uh, if your design files are not consistent in size uh, you may just go ahead and watch this uh, tutorial uh, this is a lengthy 30 minute tutorial that will give you insights on what should be the size for your design files okay so I think uh, it must be clear to you now how we need to proceed I'll uh, send you the files and uh, like I mentioned the issue with the size was because of the resolution mismatch uh, this resolution is of 72 whereas this one is for 300 dpi and whereas this one is 96 ppi so make sure that all your design files are of consistent size okay thank you let me know if uh, you need further help I'll be here to you know provide any kind of support or assistant you may require thank you